guys, today we're talking about our holy grail figures. I'm Kyoko and I'm Zafira. First one on my list is the Chaika Travant from Aquamarine. Oh, and she's so beautiful. I really, really love her and I cosplay Chaika, so I need to have the figure as well. But uh, Aquamarine uh, went bankrupt last year, I think, so there will never be a re release and she's pretty rare by now. She almost got her, but then the seller decided to. Uh, not to sell her anymore because she was having <sighs> second thoughts, which was really annoying. Annoying. I was really yeah. angry. One of our golden rules is when you cosplay the character, you want to have the figures. Figure. At least one figure. At least one. If there is one. Even better, one. every, every figure oh. that exists. <laughs> My first holy grail figure is Yato from Noragami. I really, really love Noragami. And I'm so pissed about that there is no re release. No re release, and there, there's no other figures of, of the series, series at all. You know, the aftermarket prices are astronomical. Insane. I haven't seen another figure that is that crazy. No, no I'm sad that I would, probably will never get him. But you know, never give up hope. Next one on my list is the Leon from Dem Toys, the 1 6 scale. Oh, and it looks yeah. so amazing. From Resident Evil. Resident Evil, yeah, from the remake. And I saw an unboxing and it was just crazy how many accessories were in there and there was everything from the game is in that figure. You have yeah. the keys, you have all the weapons with all the custom parts. You even can change the magazines from the handguns and stuff. It's yeah, insane. Just imagine but pretty expensive at 300 plus euros, dollars, whatever. Yeah, I think. And this figure is one of the rarer cases where actual clothes with real fabric look kind of look really cool. You know, if they would have made it clear, I could have not resisted, but thank god they didn't. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. <laughs> My next figure is actually an android. You may or may not know. I'm a huge fan of Psychopaths. We both are actually. I really would love to have the Akana android. I totally missed her when she was announced. The aftermarket prices again are like. <sighs> I mean, I saw her for 395 euros or something. Which is just... For a fucking Nandroid. Come on, people, where, where do you get those prices from? No one is gonna pay that. And I even have the Kogami Nandroid. The kind of would be fucking awesome. I'm still hoping for a re-release, which okay. could be possible. I mean, never it give up hope great. again. Next one and last one on my list is the Sauron from Prime 1 Studio. And it's just amazing. I mean, all of the figures are just great. Breathtaking, amazing, super detailed. They always look super on point. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Except the price. <laughs> They're really expensive. They're always like over a thousand dollars. Just not going to pay that. <laughs> I can chime in on the Lord of the Rings uh, topic um, as well because we both are huge, huge Lord of the Rings fans. Yeah. And one of my holy grail figures, which is just breathtaking. I oh, have no yeah. words for it. It's the Gandalf vs. Balrog from Prime One Studios. And as you said before, the they, detail is crazy. It's just amazing. It even has LED lights, so uh, uh, it lights up. Super amazing figures. Okay, I think that's all of it. What are some of your Holy Grail figures? Write them down in the comments. I think it's always super, super uh, interesting to read about it. And we would be really happy if you subscribe to our channel, like, comment, you know the whole deal. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram mm. and everything. It would mean a lot to us, so please do if you haven't. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, see you next time.